Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And I'm Dan. And this is The Park Bench. This time coming to you from Ohio Pile, West Virginia. That is, that is actually the name. And we no, are... we're not in West Virginia, we're in Pennsylvania. Screwed up the intro, didn't I? We've got a good view. We've got a great yes. view. We have, <laughs> we, have, we have ignored TLC's advice and we have gone chasing waterfalls. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't go chasing Well, we did. If, if we look a little bit bedraggled here, uh, that's because... Uh, well, you've got footage. Uh, I'm going to assemble it. I'll put it on my channel. You can have a look at what we did. We, we drove past here the other day and saw a sign saying natural water slides. Yep. It's water slides. You did say swater slide. Swater I don't slide. know what a swater slide is. But... I would like to ride a swater slide. <laughs> it, it's a slippy water slide. Yes. Oh. And this was, we this because uh, by this point they'll have seen the footage. I'll put it up. Um, it's so... rocks that have had stream carve into them, so then it's all a bit whooshy. It, it's a water slide made out of rocks. It's a stream riverbed thing. Yeah. Yeah, we, it... we had to play in that for a bit. Yeah, we might be a little bit bedraggled. Bit sunburn, a bit British. sleepy. But yeah, we are in a, a beautiful place, uh, even though mostly what you can see is car park. Uh, so we thought... <laughs> We've got the nice view this time. Oh, it's we, a waterfall over there. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Um, we thought we'd... Uh, well, I don't know, the, the provocative title on this that you suggested, Dan, was that the National Radio Quiet Zone reporting is bollocks. Yes. It seems like it's all lies. And that's kind of the reason we're here in America. We've been staying in West Virginia. Don't try and do the accent, Matt. Why? <laughs> <laughs> We've come over the border for our day trip today, but yep, the we... other day we went south. Don't try and do the accent, Matt. Okay. We went south of where <laughs> we were staying, about 150 miles. To Greenbank, West Virginia. Um, and we will talk about the radio telescope there, because hopefully you've seen the video on that by now. Talk about that in another video. But, uh, yeah, we were in the National Radio Quiet Zone. Hmm. And if you believe the hype, it's this massive squares, 100 miles square where Wi-Fi is banned. Everything radio transmitting is banned. Yeah. No FM radio, no mobile phones, no, no. Wi-Fi. No, complete rubbish. Yeah, we were 40 minutes away from the very center of the area. We turned our radio on and got two radio stations. Yep, mm. we got had Fox News radio. Full, four bars of 3G. We stopped at McDonald's with free Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> like and I brought what was signal that town? Logging. I keep thinking it's called Elbag. Elkins. 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 All the, like, you've, you've told me that, it will go. It will go just yes, like Yes, we that. noticed that yesterday, but the entire time we were driving towards it, where am I heading? El, El, El? El Camino. El Cool J. <laughs> El Indigenous, I think I had at one point. Elkins. Uh, Elkins, okay. We went to Elkins, there was Wi-Fi everywhere, and at this point we're well in the zone. Mm. We've been in the zone for about 40 minutes drive. Yeah, At something least, like that. Yeah. And so we're starting to think, all right, is, yeah, where are the signs? Where are the things that say, turn off your radios now, turn off, turn your phone to airplane mode? And from, from the articles that there are, and from, I've read the documentation of what you're not allowed to take in even, like to millivolt per square meter charts of what, what kind of emissions you're allowed. So we're expecting big signs saying, turn off all of your stuff. It's a beautiful drive, though. But it's, it's winding country roads through West Virginia, up mountains, down mountains. And it's all nice and wide because American roads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was driving for... No, I drove, I drove back, didn't I? It was nice, easy, easy pulling around. We, we saw wildlife. We saw beautiful, misty mountains of Shenandoah rivers. Sorry, yes. I, was, I was trying to get a country roads reference in there oh, somewhere. I don't know the song. But that'll explain why everyone's been singing it to me recently. <laughs> yes. Because uh, it says West... West Virginia. Right. That's, okay. Um, we saw bears. Bears we, were nice. We saw, we saw what was probably a mother and her cub run across the road in front of our car. It was really nice. Yeah, I slowed down for them. Yeah. I wasn't hungry at that point. That's how you do it around here, isn't it? I don't know. Stop, right. <laughs> stop making stereotype jokes about the place you're in, Matt. Wait until you leave. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, we were expecting it to be much more strict, or much more enforced than it was. You've done quite a bit of reading up on this beforehand, haven't you? Right, I've read all the like mainstream articles about what this place is meant to be like, watched a few short documentary videos, and it's all very like, ooh, nothing is allowed, it's really strict. It's not even a sign. I was waiting for the sign. That was like on the list of shots to get. Yeah. 
when we were talking with our contact there to try and work out how to get there because can't get, can't use Google Maps if you've yeah. Not Thank you, phones. Justin. Uh, and Mike, who was who was not there when we were interviewing, uh, but thank you to both of them for, for setting the whole thing up. That was that was really really nice. Yeah, Sorry to interrupt. I just needed to uh, our contact. But, they were lovely. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were asking what to do. At what point when we come in do we have to turn our phones off? But, nah, when you park up. Right. Okay. Okay. That's not hundred miles did, away. They did say it won't be. Uh, you, it won't work for miles beforehand. Your phone will just be wasting battery. Mm. But yeah. And then, I mean, the nearby towns, there is no Wi-Fi and signal. We kept our phones off; it's the right thing to do. Mm. But it's not really a massive thing. There is, there's, there's a little FM station there. Just use a directional antenna. And there's AM radio throughout. Okay, a bit crackly because it's a bit far away, but you can still pick it up. Yeah. It's not a no-fly zone. There's uh, military aircraft flying. Yeah, over that the whole surprised time. me. They, they keep saying that, yeah, they it, occasionally they'll do some nasty electronic countermeasures. I think it was Chuck's words, yeah. um, which will just completely scramble the telescope for a bit. But there's a military base nearby. They can do that. So, right. So all these, these hyped up articles of all the journalists who have gone there and said, oh, well, I guess we've got to get a story out of this. Uh, it's very selective reporting. Mm. And you brought... Uh... There's, a, there's a train over there. Very long train. <laughs> sorry. Should we continue regardless? Long yeah, train. go for it. <laughs> no, you, you brought no. something. You brought an uh, SDR kit with you. Yeah, you? I brought a little SDR dongle. Software defined radio. radio. <laughs> Thanks, lads. <laughs> <laughs> um, to have a look at like what radio signals there were. I thought, ah, oh, I could record all of these radio signals and take them back to London and make like a West Virginia simulator for people who want to like you know unplug for a bit, make a little room. <laughs> no. It's just like I was just picking up radio, I was picking up like plane transponder beacons, ship beacons from out at sea, even though we were far inland. All, all the stuff you would find mm. anyway. Because there's, uh, right. there's nothing they can do about GPS satellites, there's nothing they can do about plane transponders. Mm. Yeah. I can absolutely see why the microwaves are shielded within Faraday cages. I can absolutely see why they've done all of that. And there are some things that will interfere in the kind of bands. Because it, it's, the reason they don't like this interference is because it's stopping them observing stuff out in space and some things like maybe decked phones might be lower down the spectrum where they're not even trying to pick up so they're not too bothered but there's the higher up stuff I think yeah. Wi-Fi is kind of in the same area yeah um, mm. and phone signal as well so I found this back when I was uh, a long time ago I did a video about Bielefeld German city and I wanted to make it look abandoned I wanted to make it look like I just kind of got some stock footage and it was fairly quiet on the Sunday but I was deliberately framing all my shots to keep people out, so there's only a couple of people in the whole thing. It's actually a fairly busy town, but what you see in the final video looks like it's deserted. And I guess that's just the same as like the footage I took of the falls that you saw earlier. There are a few people standing on the, on the observation deck, but you didn't see any of them, so it looked deserted. And it is just that, that selectiveness of reporting. And I guess I'm trying to be a little more honest about it. He says, blowing his own trumpet. I watched bits and... Well, I, I looked at the odd bit and bob. I didn't really read any full articles about the area because you two read things and tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and there isn't a YouTube video on it yet. Oh, wait, this is it. Uh, <laughs> um, but from what you read, did it look like they were kind of going for the story rather than, you know, telling the facts, either of you? I know, I, I got about five minutes into the Radio 4 documentary on it, it was so overproduced I turned it off. Oh, I quite like the Radio 4 one. It kind of got, the further in, it kind of looked at more aspects of it, and it kind of oh, went okay. to the shop and asked what the experiences were, covered like the local radio station, went to visit that kind of thing. Because there's a local radio station in the Radio Quiet Zone. Which I love, because it's the quiet <laughs> zone, not the silent zone. And yeah. one of their volunteer engineers is the chap whose job it is to prevent radio interference yeah, we to talked the radio to him. telescope. We told him, he said, Chuck, he was lovely. Um, I, I like they're going to be good at keeping the interference out. Yeah, yeah. and great. like we asked them, like we are. What's the biggest problem? What are the things that? Are, and they're like, oh, it's just us. We're, yep. we're the ones who interfere with it the most. We build equipment that interferes with our other equipment. It's like, oh, didn't you do something like ghost cities? In when you were in China? Yeah, a couple of years ago, I went. Uh, spent a few weeks traveling through China with um, a group from the Architect Association and one of the places we went to was Ordos, which like if you look up online is like this Chinese ghost city, there's all these photos of it looking abandoned, entire city that's been built from scratch 
to replace an existing city, but nobody has moved there. Or at least that's the story. So like we drive all the way there, we get there, we drive into town, we find the spot that you've seen in all these photos in like, you know, Time magazine and stuff. Yeah. And like, if you wait for the traffic to clear, and you like frame it right, then yes, it looks like an abandoned city. Right. But like, you've got to wait for the cars to go. Uh, and whilst we were doing these photos, like get recreating the photos of the abandoned city that we'd already seen, um, local police pulled up and we were like, ooh, what's this? Uh, and they were just like really friendly. They were, they were like, what are we doing? We we're like, oh, we're taking the photos. And they were like, oh, right. Um, if you go over there, you can get some really good shots that make it look really empty as well. <laughs> and, then they gave, and then they gave us recommendations for all the good local restaurants to go to, uh, wow. which were lovely. The, the restaurant was fantastic. Best See, food I've had in China. Really? Um, and so the city is like, it's maybe like a third full, but the, like people are still moving there from the surrounding area. Um, and it's like, all the coverage is exaggerated. I found, I went looking after this to see where for other examples. And there's another ghost city, and I found someone's write-up who lives in this ghost city, uh, <laughs> that like some TV news crew had arrived in the skyscraper he works in, and had like pushed through an entire busy floor full of people to frame a shot out of the window at another building that was still under construction to make it look empty. <laughs> and you're like, it's, you, you knew it wasn't empty when you were walking through the floor full of people. And it's, um, They've gone there with the exact idea of what they want to make, rather than reporting on, oh, I think it's landed on me. They, they, they know what they want, want their story to be, even when yeah. they go to make that rather than... And to be fair, we what knew what we wanted our story to be. I think we've yeah. still got that. But we didn't have to, we didn't have to play up the electrosensitives who've moved there. We didn't have to worry that, oh, it's not actually this thing, because we didn't have the boss breathing down our neck saying, you have to get this story. Mm. Yeah. Um, again, and, like, they were joking about it. Trumpet, but... Oh, yeah. They were like, oh, have you seen the news that we're not allowed to use cell phones and Wi-Fi? And they're all like, I've just, I should go back to my house, turn off my wireless garage clicker and yeah. my cordless phone. Yeah, because he lives six, seven miles away and he's got a, got a clicker. And, um, and he said, there's a mountain in the way, but he's still in the zone. It's still yeah. not enough power to cause any harm to anyone. It... The, the only area where there's actually a ban on transmitting devices is within two miles so it's two small towns. It's Green Bank and it's Arbor Vale. And that's it. It's still cool, but it's not 100 miles by 100 miles where Wi-Fi is banned. And I have a feeling that a lot of the people who think they're moving there, for whatever reason, and, you know, the science says it's all in the heads, but it helps. Hmm. If it makes them they, feel better. Yeah. They think they're moving there because there's no Wi-Fi, and there is. So, yeah, that was the zone. Next time, we should talk about the telescope because we had a good, you had a very good visit there. I like pressing buttons. I got to press buttons. Spoilers! <laughs> <laughs>